So, the Sunday after Thanksgiving, did you eat a lot? Who ate over eight? Who ate too much, okay? Everybody on this side did in the back. You guys are good over here, that's good. Were you able to see your family face to face? Raise your hand. Some of you were, some of you were not. We did not, I mean our immediate family, the five of us at our house, at the Blonsky house, were able to see each other, but my dad and my, my stepmom, no, and my mother, no, but we were able to see them virtually. But now that Thanksgiving is over with, we're done with that, you know, turkey scraps are, are getting really low right now, if that's what you had on Thanksgiving Day. Now what? What's next? What holiday is next? Christmas, that's right. But before we get to Christmas, we have to go through Advent. And if you ever notice that the six letters of Advent, A, D, V, E, and T, are the first six letters of the word adventure. So the next four weeks can be an incredible and exciting adventure. It's an adventure that includes a lot of waiting. We are waiting for Christmas. We are waiting for Santa Claus. We are waiting for school to let out. But if we didn't wait for those things, then those things wouldn't be nearly as special. Now, adults call this the, uh, the, the uh, phenomenon of delayed gratification, okay? that we have to go through a waiting period before we are uh, satisfied or gratified of the thing that we are waiting for. If we got it right away, it certainly wouldn't be all that special. You know, we, we would think of it less, we would think of it as not all that special, and we would forget it all the more quickly. But we're waiting. We're waiting these four weeks for Christmas to come. But the birth of Jesus, if you think about it, was something that people, some people waited over 5,000 years to happen. Adam and Eve, if by all accounts of the numbers in the Bible, were at least 5,000 years before the birth of Christ. They were waiting and waiting and waiting for the birth of Jesus. And that puts into perspective that we only have to wait a little less than four weeks for Christmas to happen. And that is something to be thankful for. We don't have to wait nearly as long as they did. So we have to find things to be thankful for, and we should. As I'll say in the main sermon for this first Sunday after uh, of Advent, that we wait for something so special that we give thanks always. Always finding something to give thanks because that's what our Advent adventure begins right after Thanksgiving. So we don't have to wait all that long, but we do wait. Let's pray. You repeat after me. Dear God, Dear God, we thank you. We thank you. In all things. In all things. For what's coming. For what's coming. An incredible adventure. An incredible adventure. Of waiting. Of waiting. For Christmas. For Christmas. But ultimately. But ultimately. For the coming. For the coming. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. In whose name we pray. In whose name we pray. And all God's children say, Amen. Amen.